Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio and it is 5 after 8 where I live and I've come in here to kind of start the wind down process. I remember that I had this, well I found this notebook in um, some, uh, I think it was a knitting bag that I had that has the way to knit a pair of tube socks. So I thought, well, I'll get it out and I put it on the desk and I haven't done anything with it. So I thought what I would do is I will doodle on it. I don't want to cover it up. I really like the black with the white pen if it works. Now it was working just two seconds ago. <laughs> now you're going to work. Okay. So I thought I would come and doodle a little bit on here. I didn't want to do anything especially colorful for it because I like the the stark difference between the black and the white. So I'm just drawing a few flowers and then I did the Posca pin in the middle of them. Can you see this? Let me go it slowly so my camera, let's do it this way so you see it better. I'm trying to give it time to focus. I don't know if it will or not. Um, sometimes the simplest things turn out to be one of your most brilliant ideas or one of the best things. And you're like, wow, I didn't really have to do much to make that look the way I, you know, I like the way it looks. I was just going to doodle and look how it turned out. Not everything has to be overdone. Not everything has to have 55 layers on it. It's just it's something incredibly simple. Can still bring happiness and fulfill that need in people to do art, to express themselves through their paintings, their pictures. For me, this is just a small thing to do. I mean, I'm used to do, I mean, I used to do little tiny books like this, but really don't do them that much anymore because I've been busy doing Artemat. So I'm not going to do the whole book. I'm just going to do a nice little piece down here. And then that's going to be the end of it. I wasn't trying to make it anything too complicated. And actually, I think it's really a sketchbook more than it uh, than it was anything else. I think it's meant to be a sketchbook, but I just never did sketches in it. I, well, I wrote down sock formulas. That was about it. Um, not much of anything else is in there. And I think the first flower I drew on there might have been this one right here. And I decided to go ahead and put the... Um, put the yellow in the centers that would just give it a little subtle class just pump it up a little bit if you want to follow somebody who draws flowers on Instagram there's a woman called um, her her Instagram name is Alice loves drawing and I learned all kinds of flowers flower tutorials from her just by watching her on Instagram I didn't you know it wasn't it's not like I set out to do it on purpose I just tried it one day and I enjoyed it so much that I continued doing it let's see where else do I need to fill in right here I don't know if this will stay on the book it may not stick we'll see I was just playing around and thought it would turn on the camera real quick and there it is. It's all done. It doesn't have to be very fancy. It's just something subtle. I'm going to let it dry and then it has that elastic cord on it and I don't want to flip it around and smear the ink because I don't know how long it's going to take for this. Now this is, I use the um, Uniball Signo white pen. So I just thought I'd do something subtle. And there it is. I think you can do that to most any of the plain color books. And a lot of sketchbooks and watercolor books have black um, black covers or dark, dark covers. And this would be a way that you could gussy it up and not have to put a lot of effort and messiness into it. 
just a pen, maybe a Posca marker for the center of the flowers, and you're done. That's it. I will see you guys later. Bye. Okay, so this is like part two. <laughs> I was thinking about, I put all my little mini journals in a basket, and guess what I found? Two more that are black. These two are exactly the same, and this one is a different kind of book. It's also just blank inside. Um, there is no notation about what company made it, where it came from, nothing. That's a bad selling point for a book, don't you think? At least these have something on the back of them. Let's do it this way. Imprinted on the back that tells you the company. This has got absolutely nothing. But it is a nice size book for a sketchbook. You can put it in your purse, your backpack, whatever you carry. Very nice. All right, so since this one is the same as that one, let me take that off of here. Have I got anything in here? Absolutely not. <laughs> That's really bad. I think this one is set up for a little bit of wetness, but this is not watercolor paper. Is this the same thing? Yeah, it's the same kind of paper. This one is like actual sketchbook paper because this has got a little tooth to it and it's thinner, so I don't think you're meant to put water on this, but I'm sure somebody will try it. All right, so I'm thinking I might like to draw some more flowers so I'm going to use my Alice, Alice Loves Drawing book as soon as I get it out from under the desk. Um, I'm going to use this book as a reference point to draw some, oh well, I'm going to use it as a reference point to draw other flowers. My friend Carla at What If NC made this for me? This is my artwork, and she put it in resin and made a book for me. I love this silly book. This is an awesome book. Um, I can't remember if she put the paper in it or I did. I think she probably did all the stuff to it. I just went in there and started drawing. Oh, maybe I'll do this on this one. Yep, okay, that didn't take long, did it? <laughs> all right, so let's see if we can do this without making a big old mess. I'm going to let this one dry. Let's get this one out of the way. Let's put this over here so y'all can watch me do it and see what it... Well, I guess I can do it up here. Nope, that's not comfortable. All right. Let's see. Let me make sure there's nothing else I want to do. <laughs> All of these I learned off at Alice Loves Drawing. I learned her principles, and I applied them when I drew... I'm not a sketch person, but I sure did love doing this. I am crazy about these flowers. They were so much fun. And then um, I took the principles that I learned from her little tutorials on Instagram. And my friend Josie from Norfolk took these pictures of zinnias and she posted them on her Facebook page. So I asked her if it's okay if I sketch them so using the principles that I learned from Alice Loves Drawing is I drew the photos of the flowers from um, Josie's Facebook page of the zinnias. And then I started doing other things. I got a little braver, braver and kind of struck out on my own and did some other stuff. This says, I wrote down here, Alice Loves Drawing, Alice Loves Drawing, so I could remember. These were done in 2020. Then I went, this I believe came from a, a, a book about wildflowers that one of my neighbors gave me that lives down the street. And so I drew one of the flowers out of the book, the different stages for it. And these were other things I kind of struck out on my own and drew. This is an Alice Loves Drawing. These are just my doodles. Um, this one is mine. I went out in my backyard and I picked this flower out and I kept it in a vase on the desk and I looked at it and I picked two or three different things of it and drew it. So just because it's Instagram and it's a quick little tutorial doesn't mean you can't learn something. 
I still have other things that are in process that I haven't touched in a long time. But I still really enjoy doing the flower drawing in here. I did this one the other day because I was fooling around with something. I wanted to see how it would look. Anyway, so I think I'll do this one. I think this is one of my most favorite things I learned how to draw from Alice. If that's her real name, I don't know. All right, so I think we will start here. If I can get the pen to go, come on. So in the beginning, you just draw little tiny petal flowers. It doesn't have to be anything, knock your socks off sort of stuff. It's just a very basic four or five petal flower. One, two, three, four, five. Stuff you learned in school. It's not complicated. One, two, three, four, five. And the whole thing is to keep it kind of in a circle. Now, I don't have a visual guide or anything done down, written down, so I just kind of go on here. And what I do is, after I get a first bunch of flowers established, is then I start filling in so that it makes it more, it makes it look more round. I have no idea if this is the proper way. This is what I learned and this is what I'm comfortable doing because it turns out okay, which surprises me sometimes. <laughs> more like shocks me. Like I said, I am not a sketching sort of person. I tried sketching and I'm like, you know what? I don't understand the concept of up close and distant stuff. I just don't get it. So there's my first ball right there. Now, ordinarily, see on here, in between the flowers, it's colored in with the black pen on the white paper. But I don't think that that's going to look good on this. I think the black should be left alone. I think it more has more visual impact that way. So I'm gonna do another one right kind of next to this one. They don't have to be perfect because it's just a ball of little tiny flowers. Nobody cares. Perfection is not the goal. You just want to show that it's, whoops, there goes a fly. Oh, tis the season. And I missed him too, so he'll be bothering me all night. All right, so then there we go. Kind of a ball there. And then we're going to do a leaf. Oh, i got to do a bigger ball over here. Okay, so we'll do this one a little away from the others. One, two, three, four, five. One, It's really not complicated. You can see that I'm not doing anything special, just making little humps in a circle. <laughs> That's it. And then you can occasionally do smaller ones to fill in so that it makes it look more rounded, which is fine. Mine looks a little oblong, so I'm going to do some more filling in, just kind of trying to make it look a little better. It looks kind of oblong. Maybe I can shape it a little differently by putting some extra things in. Eh, not so bad. Uh, maybe a couple more down here. One, two. Just on the edges to kind of finish it off a little bit. There you go. Now it looks just as bad as it did before. <laughs> Sometimes you got to say when. All right, so we'll have this stem come down here. Here. So there's this one. And then I have this one up here, which these are a little different than what I drew here on this one. Let's put this down here this way. I 
I think one of the hardest things when you're doing this kind of thing is to try to get a straight line. And then a little leaf. And then all these little tiny dots. Then let's see, we need a leash that goes up this way. And we need something to come out of here. Wow, this got way bigger than I intended. <laughs> That's what's not supposed to be this big. <laughs> oh my, what have I done? Okay, let's get a leaf that goes underneath here. Um. One more flower. Yes, I know it's not an odd number, but I need an extra thing over here. This will be a baby, a baby ball. Um, let's see, we need to do this. See that I can't do a lot of detail on the stems because it's a fat pen and what I did here was a, a fine point pen. So this leaf is very awkward but I gotta leave it there because I don't think I can take it off now. And then we'll do a Hard to do little tiny dots. Mm, let's see. Do I want a leaf here or I want one up here? Let's do this one because this is the way it looks over there. Um, let's see. Well, this one has one, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm not so far off. Okay, I think that's enough. So it's just a little simple drawing on a black notebook. It's nothing too complicated. So there's this one, and then this one. Just fooling around. This has tooth to it. I don't know. Let me see what a jelly, a jelly roll will do on this one. I drew a flower the other day. Okay, let's try this one. I haven't done this one in a long time. <coughs> this is nowhere, <coughs> excuse me, as white as the uniball. Sorry, my phone is giving me notifications. And then, let's see, we'll do this this way. And then, 
Yeah, it's not as white. Look at the difference between the two. This is very white, and it's a meat. I think this is a medium-sized tip. And this is more, let's see what number is. This is a number eight. So there's a six, eight, and ten. So this is kind of in the in the middle, but still it's a finer point than this is. All right, I'm going to fast forward this, and then you, you can watch me kind of draw it, and then watch me draw it at like a two, two times speed, four times speed, and then I'll come back. Okay, so this one was more difficult to do because the jelly roll, jelly roll pins were not cooperative. I went through this many to test to find one that will write on this. This is very textured, so it's really hard to write on. This is a lot smoother. I think it's dry. It's a lot smoother to draw on. Let me see if I can do this with a jelly roll pin on here. It's still not as white. Yeah, it doesn't write. Still, you can see the difference between the Jelly Roll and the Uniball. Jelly, jelly Roll is not that fabulous, and it's a number eight again. Anyway, so there's that. So there's this one. This one's called a Black Eyed Susan, although who would know because it's all white. But nevertheless, it was fun to draw. It's kind of a challenge to draw on this textured bookboard. It's just very textury. These are very smooth, so there's a distinct difference between this and this, and then the rough surface versus a very nice smooth surface. And this was easy to draw on because that's the same as this one. So there you go. Just my way of killing time instead of watching TV. Alrighty. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and thank you very much for all the subscriptions. 
I really do appreciate it. See you next time. Bye-bye.